everybody video here for you today you notice i'm filling in my place marks here on my ancient america map there is one place i want to talk about before i get to videos coming from different parts of the world i did a video on this place a couple years ago read something last night this is fresh in my mind so i want to talk about it today this seems highly important here you see i have a stone pyramid marked just east of buckeye lake here south of newark about six, eight miles, I believe. But this is just a general place mark. I thought this stone mound was totally removed. Did some reading. Let's just go to a PDF. Here's a video I made in May 2018. The reason why I put dam in the title is because stones from this pyramid mound were hauled off about 200 years ago to make a dam or a dike at the west end of Buckeye Lake. This is the largest reported stone structure, pyramid mound, found north of Mexico. This is a pretty important place and just kind of lost to history. Now here is a PDF I found a few days ago, and this was highly important. Shows a map from 1866 with the stone mound documented right there. And the way these old roads are kind of fits with current road systems, so I can locate exactly where the stone mound is. And I didn't think that was possible a couple of years ago when I made the video. I thought the mound was totally removed. But this map gave me the key to finding where the mound was. You notice this road that comes out of Jackson Town here, comes down this way, southeast, and then goes straight south at this point right here. Also, this road right here comes down and then goes straight south right here. Well, this goes straight south pretty much right at current day I-70. You notice that one row coming down to Jackson Town here, then going south right here. This followed a road that existed 150 years ago. Here's that other road, 324, comes down here and goes straight south at I-70. Then you look over here on the map. This must be the I-70 corridor currently. Right down here, the stone mound is just south of it here. So we know that the stone mound has to be in this area right here that's covered in trees and there is one spot right here that is kind of open and to me i've been looking at this for about a day now i think that's the location of the great stone mound pyramid of ohio right there once again here is the old map jackson town the stone mound found right here here is google earth today jackson town and that stone mound i believe is right there fits perfectly with everything i'm seeing just reading about this ancient stone structure here, it says the Reservoir Stone Mound, also known as the Jackson Town Stone Mound, the Great Stone Mound, the Jury Stone Mound, was the largest Aboriginal stone structure north of Mexico. Originally, it was between 12 and 15 meters, 40 to 50 feet in height, and between 55 and 61 meters in diameter. That's about 180 to 200 feet. According to a writing in the 1866 Annual Report of the Smithsonian Institution, it was surrounded by a low fosse, a parapet of an ovate form with a gateway on the east end, leaving a large open area on the west end of the mound within the enclosure. The site is located on a prominent hilltop, approximately 2.4 kilometers southeast of Jackson Town, Ohio. And going over to Google Earth again here, let's see how far that is from Jackson Town here, the place I have marked. Up on that hilltop, perfectly described in that article, about 2.33 kilometers. So that seems to match up perfectly with that location I showed you at the beginning. Just reading a little bit more about this important stone pyramid mound. It says the mound achieved considerable notoriety in 1860 when the second and most celebrated of the so-called Newark Holy Stones was discovered at the site. Although many scholars initially accepted the holy stones as genuine relics of antiquity, eventually they were determined to be fraudulent to the satisfaction of the archaeological community, if not individuals with ideological reasons for promoting their authenticity. Ironically, this 15 minutes of fame, followed by more than a century of infamy, appears to have cast a pall of suspicion over everything relating to the mound which may be one reason for otherwise entirely unjustified subsequent neglect of this remarkable ancient monument. Whatever the cause, this neglect is unfortunate because this extraordinary site is deserving of more attention than it has received. 
The dating of this stone mound based on some wood they found inside this stone pyramid mound came out to be about 1900 years old. It says, in 1822, Joseph Sampson published a, an appeal to preserve this venerable mound because it was by far the noblest monument of antiquity now extant in North America. In spite of this laudable, if perhaps slightly hyperbolic appeal, beginning in 1823, somewhere between 10,000 and 25,000 wagon loads of stone were removed from the mound to provide riprap for the Licking Reservoir, now Buckeye Lake, located only a few kilometers to the southeast. Now here's where it got a little surprising for me. I thought the mound was totally dismantled when the dam was being constructed. It says, although the destruction was extensive, it was by no means complete. Charles Whittlesey examined the mound in 1838 and described it. Even now, a commanding object rising among the trees of a thrifty western forest he writes, 15 feet of the apex was removed many years since by a believer in Robert Kidd's treasures and a cavity sunk nearly to the bottom with much labor. It says people were still carrying off stones for masonry in 1850. It says in 1896, Warren K. Moorhead documented the surviving remnants of the mound as extending 189 feet northeast, 207 feet northwest. Average height, eight and a half feet, and a maximum height of 12 feet. So there was still a mound remaining about 120 years ago, some remnants of it at least. Also in this PDF, they have a pic. Somebody knows the location of this ancient stone mound here, trees, vegetation, grass growing on the top of what remains of the mound here. Now, Moorhead did some excavation trenches into this mound in areas where he thought were undisturbed sections of the mound, but he concluded that nearly the whole of the original area covered had been disturbed by those vandals who had removed the stone for the Licking Reservoir. Thus, in the interest of modern progress, was destroyed one of the most important and imposing, if not unique, tumuli in the entire Ohio Valley. Moorhead, 1897. Now, this surprised me even more. It says a survey of the site conducted by the Ohio Department of Transportation in 1993 determined that the stone mound is still an impressive structure. The report states that the stones occurred over a distance of 185 feet from east to west and that the stone pile ranged in height from 8 to 12 feet above the level of the rise crest. The authors of the Department of Transportation survey concluded, however, that it is difficult to determine what portions of the overall stone pile represent intact mound remnants as opposed to material displaced during previous excavations. Here is a simple sectional view of this pyramid, the stone mound. It seemed to be more round than square, but there was a burial found down at the bottom. It was laid out on a log burial platform. See right there a diagram of it. This is a very simple diagram. This does not show proper proportion of the mound. It was said to be 40 to 50 feet tall. That's as large as some of the Adena mounds, the larger ones, but somebody certainly knows where this mound is located today. And I think we all do too now. One small piece of history from this stone mound still exists here. This is in the Peabody Museum of Natural History at Yale University. It's just reading here, this says a fragment of wooden burial platform from the Reservoir Stone Mound, Newark, Ohio, shown prior to the removal of a small section for radiocarbon dating. And that's a piece that they got the date of about 1900 years ago for the construction of this stone pyramid mound. I will leave the link for this PDF below, but this seemed to be a very important place, maybe a capital site thousands of years ago. Why would they have built a large stone structure, pretty much the largest one, north of Mexico, here in Ohio? This had to be a very important place. Apparently, this is what it looks like today. Now, when I made this video almost two and a half years ago, these diagrams didn't make any sense based on the site description. But do we have an accurate pic of what this mound, it was said to be a circular mound, 180 feet in diameter. Do we have an accurate pic of what this may look like? Well. We might. Now, here is a pic 
the drawing I came across in my Ancient America series, there is no good description of where this comes from. It says Ancient America Battle Mound, but these mounds had nothing to do with warfare. Was there a story being put out at a remarkable discovery made in Ohio? Could this possibly depict it? Well, I think it represents what is described at the site a lot better than the drawings that we have by the people that were here from the Smithsonian and other places. That is just a wild guess, but they said it was a large circular stone mound, 40 to 50 feet high, 10 to 20,000 wagonfuls of stone were taken away from this mound when they created the dam at the west end of Buckeye Lake. So this stone structure had to have been huge because a lot of it still remains, apparently, at least it did in 1993. So that is my video on the Reservoir Stone Mound, everything I have learned about locating ancient sites, how to use old maps. I believe that's where it is right there. Just east of Columbus, just southeast of Jacksontown right there, that old map gives up the location. But I think that's a very important site. Those people that were here over 100 years ago were kind of desperate and they're pleased to preserve this ancient site. A lot of them said how important it seemed. I agree with them. That's some lost history coming from Ohio. Lost Stone Pyramid Mound, the largest one north of Mexico ever found. Ancient America series, pretty fascinating. More to come. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have a very nice day.